Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve the problem from the Harvard University minus 5 whole to the power x equals to 5. And we are to solve for the real numbers x which satisfies this equation. Now, at first glance, this really looks very difficult because as you can understand, minus 5 to the power something, that would either produce a positive quantity or a negative quantity, depending on the exponent, if you are talking about integers. But, so, like, let's take a few examples. Minus 5 to the power 1 should be 5, and if you do an even number, it should give you a positive number. But minus 5 to the power something, which should produce a positive number, which is 5 itself. That is something which we haven't uh, have an idea of directly, you know, like you cannot guess the value of x directly from here, but we will follow standard mathematical procedures here. So minus 5 to the power x equals to 5. If we take logarithm on both sides, it looks something like this. So when I say logarithm, I mean natural logarithm. So I will not write base e here, but from now on, we can assume that it is always in base e. Okay. So this is log of minus 5 over to the power x, and this is log of 5. Okay, so due to the properties of log, obviously we have x into log of minus 5 equals to log of 5. So the whole problem basically revolves around finding this part. Now, as you all know, log is not defined for numbers which are negative. So you might have seen before in your calculus 1 courses or in your uh, basic algebra courses that log x is defined when x is greater than 0. Yes, that is true, but that is only for real numbers. Log is also defined for complex numbers. And then the input can be basically anything. We do not really care. So minus 5, there is some complex number. And to be fair, a set of infinitely many complex numbers, the logarithm of whose basically gives you minus 5. So first of all, we will write minus 5 as 5 times minus 1. And then... If you remember the most important equation in mathematics, or rather the most beautiful equation in mathematics, it was e to the power my i pi equals to minus 1, right? It really connects all four important constants together. This is also true for any... So uh, let's first understand how this comes into being. So like e to the power i pi, right? This is, according to Euler's formula, this is cos pi plus i into sine pi. And that is what basically uh, brings about the minus 1 because cos pi is minus 1 and sine pi is 0. Now, what happens if you, like, let's say, replace it with uh, other variables, right? So, let's say if we were to do something like this, cos of 2n plus 1 pi, we are ensuring that 2n plus 1 is always odd. That means cos of 2n plus 1 pi will always be minus 1 plus i into sine of 2n plus 1 pi. And any integral multiple of pi with sine always gives you 0. So even this equals minus 1, right? So that is why what we can do is we want to generalize it for n because that is important in a logarithm with a negative number inside it because we do, we can do the principal branch, but then, we, then also we can make several other uh, values which will also correspond, in, correspond to log of minus 5. So there is not a single value which corresponds to log of minus 5 in complex numbers. Okay. So minus 5 is 5 into minus 1. And minus 1, as we have just seen, is e to the power 2n plus 1 whole into pi into i multiplied by 5. So that should be because uh, this term, according to Euler's formula, transforms back to this term, right? Okay. Now, log of minus 5 then should be equal to log of the right-hand side. So using formula of logarithm, we can uh, divide this, we can uh, separate this multiplication task into two different uh, terms, which are basically added. So log 5 plus log of e to the bar 2n plus 1 whole into pi into i. And this gives you log 5 plus, since the base is e, this thing comes out. 2n plus 1 pi i. And now if you go back to your problem, it was x into log of minus 5 equals to log of 5. Correct? So this gives us the value x is equal to 
Also, uh, we will make some changes right now uh, after we write this expression log 5 divided by. So, log of minus 5, as we know, is now log 5 plus this. So, we can do log 5 plus i by 2n plus 1 for all n belongs to integers. This will work. And you can um, do it, explain it further by using the fact that 5 is basically equal to 5 into e to the power. 2m i pi for any integer m. So you can also write the same thing and the numerator becomes log 5 plus 2m i pi and then the denominator becomes log 5 plus i pi 2n plus 1 for all m n belongs to integers and this is the solution to the equation. So uh, if you like this video please subscribe the channel and like this video and let me know in the comment section if you want further stuff like this. Thank you.